thank you guys for clicking on the video. I am Sully, and today, fellas, we have our first episode of NHL Fantasy Studs, and I'm doing this episode to target uh, just people who do NHL fantasy hockey, and I'm going to be doing it this year, and so I thought to prepare myself, why not do a series on it? So I'm doing the left-wingers, and these are left-wingers, and I used NHL.com fantasy player position, so if you have a problem, please don't tell me. Tell the people of NHL.com. But I did, uh, I didn't just hit points and then you know chose the top five. I picked some guys that may be a little low in the top ten or the top fifteen, but I do have my reasons. So let's get into this. The first left winger that you want to get, in my opinion, in your draft is Taylor Hall as a left winger. He had 16 goals, 35 assists in the shortened season, but you look at his top line. Eberle, uh, Nugent Hopkins, and then they have uh, right winger at the bottom, or in the second line, Nail Yakupov. And I think that that top line, though, of Eberle, Nugent Hopkins, and Hall is deadly. And that's a hard line to stop. And also, he's a young player who's only going to develop his shot more because he's so young. And so I look for that goal total to really go up. And I think he'll be even better than advertised just because... They will have a, sh a long, you know, full season, and they'll have training camp, and it won't be rushed. And so I look for him to really Taylor Hall step up his game. And he had 35 assists with 16 goals. And so for fantasy, it's a little bit heavy to the to the assist department. But don't be sa uh, sailed. Don't be sold uh, on just assists. He can score. He's shown it. But he also can't get injured. You know, he's been a knucklehead sometimes, and so hopefully he'll. He'll mature. The second guy, a little bit of a controversial pick for me, but Rick Nash with 21 goals, 21 assists. And, I, you know, he was really ineffective in the playoffs, and that's why I sort of held back. With a new coach coming to New York, it'll be interesting to see how the coach utilizes Rick Nash. But I feel like a person with a fresh view as a coach coming in can help Rick Nash's game. Uh, but at the same time, a fresh coach with a new view could also hurt him. So I would still take him early on, but just take him. But I would expect to pick someone else up to fill the void if Rick Nash goes south. And I would also be a little quick to trade him when he's high, just because he's such an you don't know what you're getting really because of the playoffs. And I think if you take the opportunity to sell high, you can get steady players for him. Uh, in return, but it's up to you guys. But Rick Nash, he's still a solid player. Third is Chris Kunitz. Now he had 22 goals, 30 assists, and you might ask, he plays for the Pittsburgh Penguins. You might ask, well, why isn't he your top guy? And the here's my reason: the Penguins have so much offense. I mean, they have uh, Iggy Kunitz, Latang on the back line, Crosby, Malkin, James Neal. I mean. They have offense in spades, and I think on a night-to-night -night basis, someone is going to take a hit. And Chris Kunitz, they tried you know, shuffling the lines with him and Iggy, and I think um, I just think that someone's going to take a hit in Chris Kunitz. I don't think his production value will be what it was like last season, but I could be wrong, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have him in my top pick. Uh, if that's just me, if you like him and you trust uh, so many options in Pittsburgh, then yeah, you can take him. Uh, and he might be a sell-high guy. You never know. So the fourth guy is Andrew Ladd. Now some people out of Winnipeg, some people might be a little shaking their heads at me right now. But I chose Andrew Ladd, who last year had 18 goals, not bad, and 28 assists. And here's why uh, another thing that I try and look for. Even though Taylor Hall and Chris and Andrew Ladd didn't have the best goal to assist ratio, I try and look for guys who have a steady balance of the two, because uh, I had Zetterberg last year, and it's good to have you know a lot of assists, but you do need a balance. Hockey, fantasy hockey isn't just one category, and I think I think Andrew Ladd will do a good job. His scoring capabilities. Uh, he does have, excuse me, he does have scoring capabilities. He has a strong shot. His offense is not set in stone compared to the other top left wingers. That's the drawback. I don't think Winnipeg has their top line set in stone yet. I did some research, and as far as I know, they don't. And so Andrew Ladd has a tremendous upside. 
he he has a very capable NHL style play to produce high points, but at the same time, because of the offense isn't set in stone, people will key on Andrew Ladd, you know, and they have Kane, they'll key on Kane, and so be careful. But out of all the left wingers, I think Andrew Ladd will bring a nice balance. And he, he does have the capability to be that steady anchor for your winger spot in fantasy hockey, I believe. Uh, and then finally, we have Matt Molson out of New York, the Islanders. 15 goals, 29 assists. Now, he I like him a lot with the top line. I think that when it comes to wingers... You want a good balance, and I think Matt Matt Molson. What attracted me to him was that he plays a key role in their in their lineup, and he has a nice frame and a big body. He's not a small guy. He can get in there, get greasy goals. He can do a lot of things for you. And another thing is that he has high capability of putting up multiple point nights, which is what you want in your fantasy hockey team. I think that he can do a good job. Now, the one thing with these wingers is they're all not, you know, the left wingers I point out compared to the right wingers and centers are very, uh, they're not as high in value, I would say, as the center and right wingers. At least what I've noticed is that uh, the center and right wingers pack a heavy punch to your points and if you win a week or not. So, you know what, guys, if you, you can also use these top five players or any left winger uh, to your advantage, try and sell them high, get some good pieces in return, but... Still, I think if you land any of these top guys for next year, you should be good to go. And so those are my top five picks, guys. And let me know. Uh, please give me feedback if you enjoyed this. Uh, this was my first time ever doing this. I'm not a hockey fantasy guru, but it was fun doing research, uh, seeing how the lines are working for the future. And so let me know if my picks are, are good or if I'm just <laughs> some crazy guy off his rocker. But let me know what you guys thought of the video. I hope you guys see you next time. Take care.